Welcome to Grand Sumo Highlights. It's day four of the September tournament, also known as the Autumn Tourney. Here are the men doing well so far. Okinomi is 3-0, and, oh, and he comes in after back-to-back -back victories over Yokozuna opponents. Ozeki Goedo is also 3-0, and, oh, and he's looking sharp. Yokozuna wannabe Xenosato is 1-2, and two, so he better start winning if he wants to make Yokozuna. We're at the Ryogoku Kokuikan, the home of sumo in Tokyo, Japan, and let's get things started. First it is Shoshoma 3-0 against Endo 2-1. They are meeting for the first time. His master, former Yokozuna Chiono Fuji, passed away on July 31st. Late Chiono Fuji must be proud of undefeated Shoshoma. Endo wants to get his favorite right hand outside grip to be in control of this match. Shoshoma gracefully goes for Kubinage headlock throw, but look at Endo resisting. Endo fights off Shoshoma's forceful attempt and wins. What a resistance shown by Endo. And Endo goes to 3-1. and one. And hands Shoshoma his first defeat. Look at Shoshoma right away. Goes for a Kubinage headlock throw with his left side of his body. And Endo on his one leg. Stays on his feet and pounds Chiyoshoma to the deck. Endo using that upper body grip and staying alive. Chiyoshoma doing everything he can, hoping to drop Endo, but Endo counters with a Squeenage Builtless Arm Throw. Next up, another undefeated Rikishi on the right-hand side, Koto Yuki, against Soko Kurai, one and two. Three straight losing records for Soko Kurai since March, so he's desperate to get back to his winning ways. Koto Yuki wants to redeem himself after going two and 13 in July. He's one of five undefeated entering today's action. Busting attack by both. Koto Yuki goes after Soko Kurai and thrusts him out. An impressive win by Koto Yuki. Koto Yuki goes to 4 and 0. This is what you call Morotezuki double arm thrust out by Koto Yuki. Koto Yuki all over Soko Kurai. Soko Kurai tries to circle away, stay alive, but unable to do so. Good hard charge by Koto Yuki. Look at his hip placement, very low against Soko Kurai. Soko Kurai is taking a lot of punishment. Tsukidashi thrust out. It is Sadanomi 2 and 1 facing off Shionokuni 1 and 2. We all know how strong and capable Shionokuni is. That is, as long as he stays healthy. Sadanomi on the right hand side, failing to get Kachikoshi or more wins than losses in each of the past seven tournaments. Shonokuni with a good low charge. Sadonomi absorbs it and attacks, but loses his balance and looks like Shonokuni is the winner in this one. Everything happened so fast, but Shonokuni seemed to have stayed in the ring a little longer than Sadonomi. So Shonokuni evens his record to 2-2. Two and two. Fast touch eye, initial charge by Shonokuni. Sadaromi does a nice job of fending off his opponent. 
but losing his balance, Chonokuni, nice job at the edge. What a balance shown by Chonokuni. Once again, good hard charge by Chonokuni. Good defense shown by Sadaromi. Sadaromi now goes after Chonokuni. But here, Chonokuni moves to his right and sends him down with a Hataki Komi hand slap down. It is Mitake Yumi, 3 and 0, oh, against Takekaze, the veteran, 2 and 1. Can Mitake Yumi extend his undefeated streak to 4 on the right? On the left, 37 year old Takekaze is a gym rat, and that's why and how he stays in great shape. Takekaze hits hard and pulls. The veteran keeps himself in motion and outmaneuvering the young Mitakeumi for a victory. Takekaze, for his age, he moves so fast and well. Mitakeumi unable to keep up with Takekaze's moves. So Takekaze advances to 3 and 1. Mitakeumi, disappointing loss for the first time this basho. Takekaze starts slow, hits that the slap down attempt immediately. Watch Takekaze with a sequence of techniques. Takekaze doesn't get set. Hataki Komi slap down is the Kimarite. It is Chio Otori 0 and 3 looking for his first victory against Ikioi 2 and 1. Chio Otori is competing in his 50th career tournament. His opponent Ikkyo is 2 and 1. Hope his body holds out for the entire two weeks because his body has taken a lot of beatings lately. A right shoulder charge by Ikkyo. He gets an arm lock and with his right hand and starts swinging Chio Otori. And down goes Chio Otori. Ikkyo takes the match. Chiyotori remains winless while Ikioi advances to 3 and 1. Chiyotori stopped Ikioi's charge, but wisely, Ikioi gets that right arm kote, the arm lock, and starts swinging and finishes off Chiyotori with a kote nage arm lock throw. Tochi Ozan 1 and 2 against Shin Sekiwake, newly promoted Sekiwake Takayasu 2 and 1. Takayasu is fighting at his highest rank. Sekiwake is the third highest behind Yokozuna and Ozeki. His lone victory was a win over Yokozuna Kakuri on opening day for Tochi Ozan. That's not bad. Takayasu with an explosive initial charge. Tochi Ozan circles away and stays alive. Tochi Ozan now rallies. The two are going after each other relentlessly. Tochi Ozan tries to go for an under shoulder swing down, but Takayasu resists. Takayasu with a slap down attempt, and it works. A seesaw battle goes to Takayasu. And that's third straight win for Takayasu, while third straight loss for Tochi Ozan. Takayasu goes up to 3 and 1. What a hard fought battle this was. Takayasu all the way. Early, Tochi Ozan trying to uh, thrust him down. It doesn't work. But you're gonna give a lot of credit to Tochi Ozan for staying in this match. Tochi Ozan trying to tie up with Takayasu, but Takayasu tries to get a separation, goes for a Hataki Komi slap down. Now, Tochi Ozan attempts a Kataskashi under shoulder swing down here, but look at Takayasu. His lower body is so strong, he's able to stay with Tochi Ozan, and Tochi Ozan gets taken out. Once again, the under shoulder swing down fails, and Takayasu slaps him down. Hataki Komi win. 
another Shinseki Wake. That's Takara Fuji on the right, one and two against Kaisei. Also one and two. Takara Fuji says he received an advice from his stable master after going 0 and 2. It must have been a pretty good advice because he won on day 3. Physically gifted Kaisei is hard to beat once he gets his go-to weapon, the left hand outside grip. The two lock up. Takara Fuji tries to budge Kaisei, but he cannot. Takara Fuji seems to be applying a strong Otsuke pushing attack with his right hand. That's why Kaisei is unable to do anything. And Takara Fuji moves Kaisei back. Takara Fuji uses his left hand upper body and upends Kaisei with a Squeenage beltless arm throw. One and three Kaisei. Takara Fuji on the right goes to two and two. What a strong showing by Takara Fuji. Good long charge by Takara Fuji. Takara Fuji first gets his left hand inside grip. And now he doesn't have the right hand outside solid grip, but he's applying a lot of pressure with a technique called Otsuke. That's a pushing attack with his right hand. And that enables Takara Fuji to take command. And in the end, it's the Squeenage, again, beltless arm throw. It is Takanoiwa 2 and 1, the Mongolian, against Higashikata. Japanese Ozeki Goedo, 3 and 0. Oh. This is Ozeki Goedo's 70th career tournament. And this tourney, again, he is undefeated. Takanoiwa, the Mongolian, is improving fast. He has become a force to be reckoned with. Takanoiwa seizes a strong left and outside grip and looks to be in command. Goedo could be in trouble. Goedo trying to shake off that strong grip by Takanoiwa. And Goedo uses his right hand inside grip and counters. The Ozeki marches forward and Takanoiwa unable to stop Goedo's charge. Takanoiwa 2 and 2, Ozeki Goedo 4 and 0. Oh. Good charge by Takanoiwa. Takanoiwa immediately gets that left hand solid grip. But he was unable to do anything with it because Goedo, with his own right hand inside grip, kind of a keeping Takanoiwa in check. And once Goedo decides to go forward, there was nothing Takanoiwa could do to stop Yorikiri frontal force out. Teru no Fujita Mongolian Ozeki, two wins and one loss against Okinomi, three and O. Oh. Okinomi has scored victories over two Yokozuna and one Ozeki. What an impressive tournament it has been for Okinomi so far. The Ozeki Teruno Fuji is slowly but surely getting healthier and stronger, it seems. Seeking a double inside grip, but it is denied by Terunofuji. Terunofuji drives Okinomi to the edge, but Okinomi yanks Terunofuji's right arm, and they both go out. The Gyoji referee says Okinomi is the winner, but wait a minute. The five judges right away call for a Monoi to talk this one over. Again, the Gyoji referee put up the Goombai to the east side, Okinomi. Let's see who went out first. Looks like Teruno Fuji's left foot landing outside of the dojo before Okinomi's left foot touching the deck. So this shows clearly that Teruno Fuji is the loser.
Here's the judge's conclusion. Tenno Fuji's foot clearly went out first. So the Gyoji's call stands and Okinomi is the winner. So Okinomi now has defeated two Yokozuna and two Ozeki. Four and O. Oh. What a tournament for Okinomi. Now the winning technique for Okinomi in this one is called Saka Tottari Armbar Throw Counter. It's Yoshikaze 1 and 2 against Seno Sato, also 1 win and 2 losses. With a couple of losses already, his chance to make Yokozuna this time is pretty much slim and none. Win or lose, you always get your money's worth from Yoshikaze. He's feisty, dynamic, and so exciting to watch. Here we go. A low charge by Yoshikaze. The feisty man relentlessly attacks Senosato circles around and takes Yoshikaze down. It was a dangerous match for Xeno Sato, but one thing he did was that he stayed calm at the edge. That enabled Xeno Sato to come away with a last minute thrust down maneuver. So Xeno Sato evens up his record to two and two. Yoshikaze drops to one and three. No charge by. Yoshikaze but Xeno Sato keeping Yoshikaze away but Yoshikaze goes after Xeno Sato goes for a frontal force out maneuver goes for a thigh grabbing force down but it didn't work the Kimarite or the winning technique was Kotenage arm lock throw for Ozeki Xeno Sato Ozeki Koto Shogeku 2 and 1 against Miyogiryu 1 and 2 Koto Shogiku lost for the first time on day three, so he's hoping to rebound today. For Miyogiru, this is his 500th career match. These two have faced off 17 times. Close rivalry, Koto Shogiku leads 9-8. Miyogiru goes in hard. Koto Shogiku stays calm and stops his opponent's charge. Chest to chest, Miyogiri flings the Ozeki around and keeps up the pressure, but cannot finish him off. Again, chest to chest, Koto Shogiku drops his hips and goes north and south, and the Ozeki sends Miyogiri out. Koto Shogiku rebounds from his defeat yesterday. And the Ozeki goes up to three wins and one loss. Right at the middle of the dojo, Koto Shogiku uses hip pumping attack and the belly attack, and there's nothing Miyogiri can do. It is Tochinoshi, 1 and 2 against Harumafuji, 2 and 1. The 8 time champion Harumafuji beat the dust yesterday. If he wants to win back to back titles, he cannot afford to have any more setbacks in the first week. Georgian Tochinoshin defeated Ozeki Kiseno Sato on day three. Will he score another upset victory here? Haruma Fuji slightly shifting to his left and getting the Wate overarm grip. And he also buries his forehead into Georgian's chest. This is power versus power. Haruma Fuji doesn't want to fight this one too long because his opponent is much bigger and heavier and Tochinoshin can wear him out. See Haruma Fuji trying everything he can to move Tochinoshin but again Tochinoshin is big and strong. 
Touch no shin, hoping to get his favorite grip. He cannot. Haruma Fuji decides to go in for a kill and he succeeds. Haruma Fuji bounces back from his day three loss. So the Yokozuna goes to three wins and one loss. It took Haruma Fuji some time to beat Tochinoshin, but hey, the win is a win. He'll take it any day. Again, chest to chest. Tochinoshin hoping to get his go to weapon, the left hand outside grip, but good defense shown by Haruma Fuji. Because Haruma Fuji did not allow Tochinoshin to get that grip, he completely shut down Tochinoshin's offense today. Instead, he goes forward and Wins by Yorikiri Force Out. Now here is the final match of the day. Kaku Ryu, the Yokozuna, 1 and 2 against Shodai, 0 and 3. An up and comer Shodai is hoping to score his biggest victory of his professional sumo career. He is yet to beat a Yokozuna opponent. After losing his first two matches, Kaku Ryu finally came out on top yesterday. Kakuryu attacks but can't put Shodai away. Kakuryu stays low and keeps applying combination of techniques. Shodai cannot get set and Kakuryu drives Shodai out. A solid performance by Yokozuna Kakuryu. Kakuryu wins for the second straight day. Shodai 0 and 4, Kakuryu now 2 and 2 after starting off the Basho. Zero and two. Kakuryu gets a shallow grip, loses the grip, but it didn't matter. Kakuryu, his mind was pretty much offensive today, so he stays low. He's constantly attacking his opponent. Shodai unable to shake off Kakuryu, and Kakuryu gets the drive going and sends his opponent out. And that will do it for Grand Sumo Highlights for the September Tournament Day 4. The story of the day, Haruma Fuji, Kiseno Sato, and Koto Shogik all bounce back. Thanks for joining us today. Please join us tomorrow again for a coverage of the Day 5 of the September Tourney. Arigato and Sayonara.